Hey everyone, welcome to another Paint with Jay. As always, I'm Jay. So grab a brush, paints, a model, and paint along. Welcome to, I'm gonna call it March Madness or, or March, miscellaneous March, March Lanius. Uh, originally I was going to be doing some Tyranids today and this month, but I've decided to put Tyranids a bit on hold uh, for a month because I realized that I need to get some stuff in gear for uh, Adepticon. I will be going there in a couple weeks and filming. So I need to get a couple things in that. And also I have a couple battle reports coming up at the end of the month that I need some models for. So frankly, I just, I'm going to put Tyranids on hold for a couple weeks and work on a couple models that I need to get done and just in good shape for Adepticon and the battle reports. So paint along with me, grab some brushes and let's get some work done at the moment. Hey everyone. So as you can see, this is a gray night, dread night. And I'm working on the base right now. I'm trying to get it all nice and, and painted up. This is going to be like an hour of me just putting black on a base. It's going to be fun, kind of fun. Um, I don't have a larger brush than this that I could use. So, whatever. Maybe an airbrush would have worked, but I don't want to ruin my, the basing. So it's all good. So this will be my uh, painting for the day. And as I said, my Tyranids are coming along quite well. And by the way, I should give a shout out right now because I just started filming. And I know that people right now, I'm part of a, a, just a group of people talking on uh, Facebook. And uh, they're talking about what to watch when painting. And my name just got thrown out. Someone said, uh, Painting with Jay. So shout out to Drewski and, and Hugh, who are talking about this right now. And, and Cody Rue, of course, as always. And they're talking about what to what, listen to while painting. And it's just coincidence that I'm, while well, they're watching, you know, one of them actually was going to watch a painting with Jay while painting. I'm filming a painting with Jay while listening to that guy talking about how he's going to watch a painting with Jay. So that's kind of cool. Good stuff there. So that's really weird. It's like Inception, Jayception. Um, so yeah, this month I have a lot on my plate. It's going to be a busy month, but I'm just trying to slow down and take it all in. Um, it hasn't been a busy week as far as videos go, and the reason is, on Sunday morning, I was looking, my wife lost a, uh, a possession of hers, and I was looking for it in the car, and I bent over to look in the car, and I felt this crack in my back, and instantly it was being like stabbed with a thousand knives. And so I threw my back out. I actually could barely move. Um, I somehow like got up the, I, I sat down in the car for a while because I could barely move my back. And I got into the house and that was basically my week since then. Um, today's Thursday. And um, yeah, I, I spent a lot of this week on this the couch in on painkillers or in bed on painkillers. Uh, my back was really out of whack. I had to call in to work. Uh, I lost work time, and yeah, it really sucked. But I just couldn't do much. My back is my back. I really should have maybe gone to a chiropractor. That would have been a good idea. I saw a doctor, short Italian woman, Doctor Mazzetti, and uh, yeah, she just. She, I didn't have any damage or anything to my spine, so I got some painkillers. And was told to move a bit, but not too extraneously. So I couldn't film battle reports. I can't even, I can barely sit right now. Um, it hurts to just sit here with this uh, body posture. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um... And so, yeah, it's been a bad week as far as pain goes. And, uh, yeah, but the one thing that it did, folk, it did send me, I couldn't even edit it at all either, but it really did make me just think, you know, I watched a bit of TV as well, obviously, but it made me slow down. And my life's been really busy the last little while, working really hard to get the warp and my YouTube stuff, both paid and, and the warp, off the ground. And it's still not there the way I want it to be, but it's, it's taken off. 
I've been busting my butt working two jobs. And it's something like that that really... What is that? Makes you slow down. And you, you realize you can't move at that pace forever because something like that happens and you got to slow down. And so that's at least a, a you know, a, a pro amongst the cons. And yeah, so I thought a lot about what I want to do with my YouTube stuff. And, um, yeah. You know, I just slow down. And so at this week, I haven't put out that many videos. At this point, uh, the second day of the vlog should be up. Um, this week's Miniature Pain 101, which was lightning on force weapons, will be up in the free content. But uh, today's been a good day. You know, I, I filmed Battle Report earlier. Uh, it just took me a lot of pain stuff. And, yeah, it's been a good day. You know, I filmed the battle reports, some other things. This week's uh, face-off challenge in the warp was kind of fun, because at the LVO last week, I was talking to a guy, and he was saying it was really funny that, you know, characters like Keldor Drago or Logan Grimnar are in the same, or Goskull Thraga, especially Goskull Thraga, or... You know, Gabriel Seth are in the same category as these titan, these monstrous hulking titans. And he said, "Yeah, because you know they'll just crush anything in close combat." I thought that's actually a great idea for face off. So I, so this week's face off challenge is uh, Keldor Drago of the Grey Knights versus uh, Castigator in close combat. And it was really fun to play because um, just this Keldor Drago versus this giant hulking um, beast, you know, it was cool. I'm not going to ruin the ending. It was actually kind of surprising how close it was, but uh, it was cool. But yeah, I've slowed down this week. Um, I'm trying to just slow things down in general. I realize I'm maybe moving a little fast in life. And, yeah, so I, each day this week, when I'm not in pain, I've been, it's so the last couple of days, I've been trying to take some time and get my workshop in gear, you know, get it cleaned up again and organized, and I'm just trying to make my, I've forced myself to, um, to clean half an hour each day for the last three days and after three days just half an hour each day it really adds up holy moly mm -hmm. looks awesome you know it really does my workshop looks night and day better and uh it's looking good because of that so this is the most boring painting with jay as far it's jay putting black on a base with a non it's like this brush is not designed for this task. But unfortunately, all my larger brushes. Do I have a larger brush somewhere? Hmm. No. It's okay. Just because these huge monstrous creature bases. Um. What else? Yeah, it's been you know. So that's been good. I'm gonna force myself to do that from now on. Just take some time each day that I have available. And. Get a task accomplished. You know? And I think through that, my painting will even take off even more because now that I have a clean work environment or a much more organized work environment, it's going to help my painting because I'll be more organized and it's good. Things are getting done, I find. It's been a productive couple days. Now, as I said, not the most productive because I've had to just relax a bit. Pain sucks, obviously. And nothing makes you feel older. Like, I had a birthday last week. Uh, last week was my birthday. And I turned old. I turned old. And then this week I throw my back out. Also, last week I injured my foot in Vegas. For two weeks ago, I injured my foot in Vegas. 
And so then this week I throw my back out. It was just like, oh my goodness, I'm old. Makes you think about it. What else? Um, now this is just between us. Uh, it's not official yet because I may not be able to get the time off. But it looks like I might be going to Mini Wargaming later in this month to film some battle reports and have a good time. It would be a lot of fun. I just need the time. Um, my work is a little bit not happy with me at the moment because I booked off so much time. Like I booked off time for the LVO last month and then I booked off Adepticon and I have a special guest coming for a day which is going to be Cody Rue. So I had to book off that. And my niece's birthday, I had to book off that. And so it's just like booking off, booking off, booking off, booking off. And so they, they may not give me the following week off that I need, or at least a day during that one, unfortunately. They, they warned me, but I'm going to try. But if possible, I'm going to go down to Mini Wargaming in Welland and have some fun for a day. There's a huge group of them coming, and they're the ones I'm talking to right now. Uh, there's a gentleman named Hugh, and there's uh, Cody Rue, and Cody Rue's son, and um, a guy named Drewski, so it's like a bunch of people, Cody Rue, and Drew, and Hugh, and uh, maybe Jay. You know, it'd be a lot of fun to go back and just, uh, just catch up with Matt and Dave and see how they're doing, and uh, see the studio I haven't been, seen in a while. I haven't been to Welland since I left Mini Wargaming uh, last April. No, May? April or May. End of April, early, late May. It was April or May, I forget which one. I think it was April. April 30th, I think it was my last day. So it's been almost a year. You know? And a lot has happened. Wow. Matt looks so different. No I'm kidding. Um, so I'm going to go catch up with him. See how's it going, you know? And uh, film for a day. That'd be a lot of fun. And but there's so many of us that I don't know if I if me going will actually add anything because there's so many people already going. Like Cody Rue will be there, Sun will be there, and they should you know face Matt. Maybe I'll just walk in and just I don't even need to play. You know I could vlog it and have a good time, and just hang out with people. That's it. You know it's the spirit of war game. So that'd be fun. Um, I've been told that if I do go, I should steal everything I can as a joke from Matt and Dave, and at the end of the night, day reveal it. Like, and I have this, and I have your wallet, and I have your keys. Just for the old joke time's sake that I'm a klepto or something. But yeah. But that'll be fun. So we'll see. It might happen later this month. But of course, the way that Mini Wargaming films, right? Uh, it'll be like, a, if I'm in a battle report, it'll probably be in May. You know, in May, all of a sudden, you'll be like, hey, there's Jay. Because they filmed that far in advance. You know. I filmed some times in advance. And I'm trying to get back on to being ahead of the schedule. Uh, it will be nice to get back on schedule. Again, ahead of schedule. I'm well, I'll definitely get ahead of schedule when I go to Adepticon. And then when I get back, I'm going to hit the hardcore and just try to get ahead permanently. You know, I'm, I'm trying to organize my videos more, um, figure out what I want to do each month. It'll be good. Also, my goal will be to film like a madman. Basically, Adepticon, I'm going to go and just hang out with people, meet people, and film. I want to film battle reports with fans that have wanted to film with me for a while. I've, I've been challenged every now and then by these people, and that they want they want to face me. You know, they want to film a battle report. They love to be in a battle report, but they can't get down to Welland or Peterborough. You know, our fans are in the states. The states is where the majority of our war gamer fans are, and Great Britain. So I've decided that I'm just going to go and hang out with people and film. If people want to be in a battle report with me, we could play Combat Patrol. We can play. You know, anything. Uh, Combat Patrol, or maybe even, like, uh, K-1 
kill team or like, we could do a team battle report. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna film and have, meet people, and have fun, and that's it. That'll be a lot of fun. That'll be my, you know, it'll be a good time. It'll be a really good time. You are going to be very shocked in a second when I'm done this one. And my next goal painting task is, because this will need some time to dry. But, uh, yeah, that'll be my goal. As I said, I'm going to head down with Owen, formerly of Mini Wargaming as well. Of course, Owen has a bit different of an agenda. Uh, Owen is going to be going hardcore for the... I don't think, I think there's actually one called the Artcore. I don't think he's playing that one in particular. But he's going hardcore for the War Machine and Hordes, which I respect. You know, that's a cool. I don't know the game enough or play the game enough to go in the Masters level. And that's ultimately why I backed out of the tournament. Was it, was, it would have been just me having my butt handed to me for 10 hours. And that's just not a good way to spend a vacation day. You know, if I had a shot, I'd do it. And I, I have the models. Like, I totally have some of the, well, most of the models, you know. But, um, to build a competitive list for Signar, I just, yeah. I don't have that much experience playing at 50 points, and I don't have that much experience playing against most armies. I wouldn't know what an anti, you know, war machine or anti-hordes list would look like, which might save me from overthinking things. Hey, so I'm back. Sorry. I, uh, Rubik started barking, so I had to go see what was up. And, so look at this! Another one! Yay! It's good stuff. Let's keep painting. Paint, paint, paint. Ding, ding, ding. The paint, paint, paint. So that's cool. And, eh, it's pretty covered, yeah. That's enough that I need. Yeah, so I just want to get these guys based. Because I'm bringing my Grey Knights to Adepticon. And yeah, yeah, I want to bring them to Adepticon. And so I want to get them nice and based. And I'm tired of using unbased, you know, models. So I've also just spent a couple days this week, you know, working on my other Grey Knights that I'm bringing. You won't see anything new and exciting at, at Adepticon. I'm not bringing anything like a, a Storm Raven or something. But I, my models are good. They, they, I haven't given them some TLC since I moved here. There have been some that have broken in a box because they broke during the move, and I just have used other ones. So I decided to take some time, once again, slow it, things down and just focus on them and get them back together and looking good. And that's what I'm going to do. So it's been a yeah, like fun but unfortunate health-wise couple weeks for me. Got a cold, injured myself, injured my foot, injured my back. It happens. It happens. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for Adepticon. It's coming up, and it's going to be a good time. I'm really looking forward to it. It'll be fun to catch up with Owen. You know, nothing makes you catch up quicker than a seven and a half hour car ride together. Um, but he's a good guy. We got along really well when we worked together at Mini Wargaming, and then we had each went our separate ways because he left the company first, and got another job in the, uh, I think he lives somewhere in the St. Catharines area. And then for me, I eventually moved away because I got, you know, I moved. My wife got a job here. And things are good. I've, I, I've, I personally, like our, our YouTube stuff has also gone in different directions as well. But I was, of course, I was doing YouTube before I worked for many work. That's how I got the job there. So, but it's good. You know, I, I went very much 40k based, and he went very much War Machine Hordes based. So, but it's all good. And I'm excited for it's gonna be really cool having a. I've never been to a convention that's in the same hotel that I'm in. You know, we stayed a really crappy, uh, cheap motel last year, and it was sketchy. It was really fun. It was fun, but it was sketchy. Really, really sketchy. And 
we had to drive a couple kilometers to the convention, which was good. Like, no problem there, other than we got in a car accident. Somebody rear-ended us with a, you know, two-kilometer trip. It wasn't really walk- worth walking distance. So what happened was I, I kept an eye for Dan and Owen, and I made sure that they always had rides. Because, I don't know, I always, I'm always nice that way. But uh, this year it'll be fun because Owen and I are just in the convention and the hotel. So we can literally walk around with nothing on us. That didn't sound right. We can literally walk around with nothing like models or books on us at the moment. And it'll be um, fun because then we can just go back our, to our hotel room, grab the equipment we need, bring it back down. If we buy anything, we don't need to walk around forever with it. We can just walk it right back up to our hotel room. It's going to be really cool. So, that I'm excited to see and uh, to see more of the WGC people. Oh, unfortunately, Austin was not at the LVO, so I'm hoping he is at the at Adepticon. Um, I hope Chung is there. I know Les probably won't be, I think. I don't think Les will be. I don't think Dan will be. Um, my homie Brittany from the WGC won't be there. So... Won't be as big of a crowd as last year. Hmm. It'll be fun. I'll go try to sell Badger products. That's always fun. Yeah, I'm excited. And it's it's fun going there with a blank slate of, a, of, a, of an agenda. You know, I was thinking of doing a 40k tournament. It would have been fun too, especially if I could have if they allowed me to film my 40k battle reports. But it might be uh, frowned upon because it would put my my opponents in a bit of a someone wouldn't like it, right? Because they they signed up for a tournament not to be in a battle report. But uh, yeah, it'll be cool. It's going to be a lot of fun. And it's crazy that it's so close to LV. I've only been home for LVO for a couple weeks, and now I'm, you know, a week and a half. What, it was a week ago? I think I just got back a week ago, actually. A week ago yesterday. And I'm already looking forward to hitting Adepticon. And after I get back from Adepticon, it's, uh, it's going to be Gen Con. You know, that'll be what I'm looking forward to. I'm debating. I actually might enter a painting competition. I don't think my, my work is really up to snuff, but I'd love to get it judged. You know, I have a couple models that I've done. I'm proud of, you know, for the level that I paint to. I'm, I'm pretty proud of them. So I think it'd be kind of cool to enter them. And if I got stupidly lucky, I'd place. And I'd be happy. You know? Yeah, so that'd be cool. This week's painting tutorial, in case you're wondering, is E. Sorry, P. Lilith. From she is a, a warlock from Hordes, and she's pretty cool. Um, she's my this week's painting tutorial in the warp. So go check that out if you want. Um, yeah, as I said, I'm I'm enjoying this. I've never been. This is the happiest I've ever been professionally. You know, I really am. I, I'm broken as heck right now, physically, but uh, I'm happy. I really am. You know, I didn't think I would be where I am a year ago. I really didn't. Is it a year ago? Hmm. But a year ago this week, I I told Mini Wargaming. I gave them an excellent notice. I gave them like six and a half. No, six, seven weeks notice that I was leaving. Because they knew about this whole moving thing and they knew that I was, I was looking for houses and, and I ended up going to an area that was far away. And they knew. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was about almost a year ago that I told Mini Wargaming that I was leaving. And I really didn't know what would happen to my YouTube stuff. Would I, would I get it back off the ground? At that time, I had just under, probably about just under, just around 10,000 subscribers. And now I have more than double that. It's pretty cool. I really... 
I'm really loving it, and I'm, I'm excited to see what happens over the next year and see, you know, in a year from now, am I going to double that again? And I would love that. If I get to 40,000 subscribers, you know, by the end of this year, that'd be amazing. I think I might. If I come close, after maybe after Adepticon, I'll come home, work hard on my Bane Blade that I've been wanting to work on for a while. And maybe that'll be my monthly painting challenge. I'll spend a whole month working on a Bane Blade, only to turn around and then give it away to a subscriber when I hit 40k. That'd be kind of a cool thing to do. You know? And then the, the winner will get it in the mail and be like, how did Jay spend a month on this? But it'd be pretty funny. Um, That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Um, yeah. By the way, people, here's a little insider to Jay for a while, the channel. I've decided after a long, lengthy process that I'm going to have to start breaking up battle reports into two parts, which is kind of sucky. I don't like it. I don't want to do it at all, but my rendering has become stupidly slow. Um, I'm going to eventually reinstall my operating system once I find this, the disk. I have an op a copy of my operating system. Um, I, I really should reinstall it and then just update it again, all the drivers and all the software again, back up my computer and do it. But uh, something's slow, and something is, is is bottlenecking my processes, and I just can't take 28 hours to render a battle report. So, And I really love the fact that battle reports are one part, because then you can watch the whole thing in one consecutive thing. But it's just not happening anymore. I'm going to break it up into two parts, because it, the, it seems like the longer my computer's rendering, the slower it gets. So it would take maybe 10 hours to do a part, one part, and then two hours will take 20, 20 hours, you know, two parts, versus one entire giant part, which would be like 28 hours. So if I break it up into multiple parts, I can render it over two nights, and there won't be any stops to the quality, at least for now, until I can um, get the funds together to maybe improve my computer slightly. Maybe it's something, you know, I need to improve the hardware. Put in a better video card. Uh, I'm already at 16 gigs of RAM, which I'm pretty sure is at the maximum of my operating system. So I can't put any more there. Maybe a better processor. Go uh, the best i7 available or something. But until that happens, hmm. you know, case around. I'll put out two-part battle reports. The new people are my confidants. You know, I uh, whenever whoever's painting with Jay, you are my confidant. Whoever paints together, we talk. You know, I give you the the, the dirt, the info on the mini word of Jay channel. Um, yeah. You know. As I said, if you're going to Adepticon, come find me. I think I got a comment on that. I really should have responded. Maybe I'll look it up and find it later. I thought someone commented, are you going to Adepticon? I'm going to Adepticon. I am going to be there with bells on, and we are going to have a fun time. And as I said, if you want to be in a JNI battle report, uh, come find me. I don't know if, I, I apologize if anybody tries to find me and I'm not available. Because I've already been, you know, my time is booked up. But um, come find me and we'll see. You know, if I... I want to go and play and just have a great time. So if I could, if I, you know, play a bunch of games against people and have a great time, that's what I want to do. You know, I, I, I really do love conventions for that exact purpose. Um, they get a chance to meet people that I would never meet otherwise because I live in a different... Part of the country in the world 
or not really the world, probably, you know, different part of North America. There's going to be some people coming from Britain in the WGC, actually, so that's kind of cool. Um, let's go put that down. So, and people will want to meet me, and I want to meet them. And that's it. That's the spirit of Adepticon, to hang out. We are war gamers, and it is a war gaming convention. And that's the great thing about Adepticon versus Gen Con, I found, was that the proportion of people there, that were, the majority of the people there were gamers, but they were not war gamers. So, I didn't necessarily have as much of a link to them. But, Adepticon is going to be fun! Yeah, it's just going to be fun. That's all I say. It's just going to be a good time. Had by all. Rubik is not going to have fun. He's not going. You are not coming, Rubik. You're not going to Adepticon. I'm sorry. Anybody wants to go see Rubik at Adepticon, you will be sadly disappointed. He's not going to be there. So... Man, Painting with Jay is a fun. I love Painting with Jay. The hour, like, again, it's one of those things that Painting with Jay kind of inspired me to start cleaning up and stuff. Because it's just that hour, you dedicate some time to something. Just dedicate your time. You know, say, for the next hour, I am going to do this. And... Um, you get stuff done. Yeah, you get a lot of stuff done. That's what matters. And then you turn around and you go, oh, look how much I've done. And it makes you want to do more work on painting. That's the cool thing about our hobby, is that we have such a cool, you know, that's, that's why I love this over magic cards. Or this over video games. Is that duality between painting and playing. It's kind of, I don't want to mean to get weird and, and philosophical, but you know what I mean? It's kind of like that. Artistic meets mathematic in my mind. You know, there's the strategy, and then there's the art, and they they interact in this hobby, and I really love that. Not everyone does, obviously. What else? I love the new Bloodthirster model. In case anybody's wondering, I know you're probably not wondering. Does Jay love the Bloodthirster model? But it's true, I do. He's really cool looking. He's huge though, and he's gonna be a bugger to get cover saves off of because he um, he's so tall and he's so top heavy because he's standing like this far off his base, but it happens. <laughs> so while those guys are drying, I'm gonna let them dry for a while. I'm gonna work on some basing for these guys. Look at them, see some great nights, some purifiers that I've had painted for a while. You've probably seen them in battle reports, but uh, they're not painted. The bases, I mean, are, aren't painted. So I'm just gonna quickly fix that, you know? That's what matters. So, like I said, getting some guys ready. I should enter a crystal brush. I'll think about it. Yeah. Could be cool. I don't know if I have the level. I'll, say, I'll think about it. So. <laughs> what else? Yeah. I'm really excited for Depticon. And I'm excited for spring. Spring in general. I'm tired of winter. You know? Winter's a tiring season. It's probably the only season people are really tired ever get tired of in Canada, you know. And that's not the joke. I'm not making a joke that there's only two seasons in Canada. Winter and construction. Um, but no one really says, you know, I'm tired of summer or fall or spring. People just say I'm tired of winter. Because it's the cold or harsh season or something. But I don't know, I'm tired of it. I can't wait for spring. Um, I'm really hoping that we get some nice weather to and from Chicago because, well, it's not really Chicago, but it's, it's near Chicago, right? We're like an hour, uh, 
probably an hour outside of Chicago or something. Pretty close to Chicago. Less than an hour away, but it's one of the neighboring areas to Chicago. So, there, uh, it's in the Chicago area called Schaumburg. So, and we're in the Renaissance, I think the convention's called in the Renaissance Schaumburg or something. So that'll be cool. And one of the best parts about bunking with people is that you get to chill. I don't think I'll actually see Owen probably the entire time we're there. Um, wow. But uh, I don't think I'll we'll actually see him because he'll probably be busy doing all the war machine stuff. I'm going to chill with the war machiners as well. I did. I chilled a lot with the war machine people last year. And this year I probably won't chill as much with the war machine people as I did last year because there's gonna be there was no open gaming last year for 40k. I was really disappointed with that because all I wanted to do was play against some fans, and they uh, could not let me. They wouldn't let me play them because there was no open gaming. So I'm hoping this year that there's a lot more open gaming. For 40k, so that way I can play a balance of 40k and War Machine. Uh, I want to get some War Machine battle reports filmed too. Probably, it, I don't know. We'll see. Might be easier fighting 40k opponents because, let's face. Oh no, actually, you have to have armies painted. That is a rule. Uh, I was about to make the joke that no War Machine players will have armies that are painted, but that's not true. It will um, even to play an Iron Arena, which is just the fun, playing for fun. Look at this, now I'm playing, you know, Hive Tyrant's base. Um, so, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, even to play in the Iron Arena at Adepticon, you have to have painted arms. You, it must be painted and based. And I really respect that. Because it kind of forces, I don't know why, but those War, War Machine Horse players just don't like painting, I guess. And they just don't want to be put into a category where they are forced to do so. But I really like the fact that they have to have to paint armies. Because it it's a dimension of the game. You know, and it's not even like fully painted, right? Well, it technically is fully painted, but the level of fully painted is artistic and uh, subjective, right? So, it's cool. So, yeah, this year I'm bringing my Grey Knights, and they are going to be fun. That reminds me, I should probably pick up a codex. Mm, yeah. But, uh... Because I use my iPad codex, I, iBook codex, whatever it's called, and on my iPod. But, um... I really should pick up one for... Adepticon. Yeah. Because that way I'll actually have a hard copy. Cool stuff. Look at the base. All about the base. No trouble. Are those dry? Uh, no, still wet. Hmm. This one should be dry. So, yeah, I'm excited. I really am. I think it's gonna be fun. Um, a great time. And that's what it's about. Just meeting people, having a great time. That's what I like about the fact that, as I said, I'm just a YouTuber. Uh, I go there to film and have a great time. And I can do that without any worry. You know, it's, it's a different experience being a vendor, for example. Because you have to go and you have to sell stuff. And you have to worry about paying stuff. And you have to sell stuff and be a salesman. And of course, you get in for, you know, you have to pay to get in, you know, or something. I think it's a different charge for vendors. But uh, there's pressure. You know, I can just go and film and have a great time. My product is the videos that I'm filming there. Like, I'm going to vlog. And last year, actually, my vlog was put up on the website for Adepticon. They were, like, there was, like, Mini Warrior J vlog um, afterwards. People just showing off the vlog. And, you know, I'm, I'm very cool with that. I'm, I'm, will gladly, 
you know, they didn't ask me or anything. I don't care because, um, I, I loved it. Adepticon was my first convention and I loved it. I will say nothing but positive things. Well, other than, you know, they should have had more open gaming for 40k. Right. That makes sense. But, uh, I loved it and, and I, you know, I am going to vlog it and that's my product that I'm going to, you know, come home with is maybe if I, I might even, depending on the internet, I don't know how good the internet connection will be. I wonder if I could upload from there. If so, I might just vlog daily and upload it daily because that'd be kind of cool. And then I wouldn't have to worry about the, um, you know, editing when I get back. Give me something to do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. As you probably can tell by the fact that I've said I'm excited like 80 times. What else? Uh, I gotta get some zoanthropes. I've decided that. I need, need to get to that new zoanthrope kit. Buy some zoanthropes and get some zoanthropes. I probably need to buy two kits. Right now, the models that I really need to pick up in my head, I need to get some Tomb Blades so that I can play the formations um, in uh, Necrons. Because I need, yeah, I just need, I want to play Necrons. I still have that army and I spent a lot of time painting them and getting them nice. And then the new codex comes out and I really want to use them. So I'll probably do some battle reports in the meantime with the, with just the standard, uh, the standard detachment, a combined arms detachment. Um, and then when I get the tomb blades painted up, uh, I need some tomb blades. I need some immortals and then I can play the form, the formations from the uh, codex. So that'll be cool. Get more Necron armies, battle reports in, you know, and um, yeah. Eventually, my goal is to do like, I would love to film. What, well, eventually, my goal is when I can leave my other job, I want to film like 10, uh, 12 battle reports a month. Well, my goal would be 16. 16 would take a long time. I guess it could actually. I could probably do 16. If I budgeted my time correct better 16 would be sweet put four uh four out a week two for free two in the warp and then uh, yeah that'd be pretty sweet actually and my goal would be then to mix up the armies because i have like five or six studio armies now so get an even balance of each one maybe like a week of each one because it'd be kind of cool you know or, yeah, figure it away. Balance them between the two. That'd be kind of cool. That's like if I ever get to MWG level. Of course, eventually I want to cover more 40, uh, War Machine Hordes as well. Infinity. One day Malfo as well. Malfo, there's no like unfortunately there's really no player base for Malfo in this area. It really isn't. And I know it's like I can always start one, but it's hard. It really is. Versus 40k, which is still extremely popular. I'm happy with that. I love 40k, obviously. And War Machine Hordes, there's a couple players in the area I've heard. In the uh Lindsay area, which I'm trying to still get a hold of. I've not been as successful integrating myself into the War Machine and Hordes groups as I am integrating myself into the 40k group. You know, I, uh, then again, I've been very lucky. There, there's been some awesome, really just awesome war gamers in this area um, that wanted to play me, like Stu, who played me last week with his uh, Astro Militarum, or two weeks ago. He's a great guy. And uh, there's David, and Doug, you know, couple others that are just really good 
good guys. I'm very happy that I met them and that they, um, you know, especially with people like David and Stu, they've been in this group for a long time and they, it's cool, you know, knowing the right people in the group. So I'm very fortunate to meet these nice people. I, I've had nothing but good experiences with war gamers, other than the guy with the racist towel, uh, since I moved here. And that I am nothing but thankful for. Because I'm all about the base. No trouble. So let's go to the next color. Um, I'm bringing booty back. You know. Yeah. So right now I'm just using... Is that bubonic? No, that's actually... That's what I wanted. So, yeah. And I, I'm thankful. You know, I'm, I try to keep myself as a thankful person. I really do. And I think anybody who knows me knows that I'm a thankful person because I wasn't, I wasn't spoiled as a kid. I really wasn't. I worked hard for whatever I got. And I was, uh, my parents raised me to work hard. And I'm not saying anybody around me is lazier. I can say one of my siblings is lazy. I have a, everyone has the lazy sibling. And I have one. I'm not going to mention which one. But he or she knows who they are. But it's all good. Spacing is not turning out as what I wanted it, but it's okay. I think that's the problem with the sand. I think I used too much glue relative to the amount of sand. It's just not getting the uh, texture I wanted. But it's all good. It's, it'll still turn out nice. So, I try to keep thankful. I really do. I'm going to keep working hard being thankful. Because I get to do this. Like, I'm making a video, and I always got to remind myself that. I'm making a video of me painting a model and talking out loud, looking like a, you know, somebody doing what I'm doing without the camera. Kind of looks a little crazy. It's talking to no one. But uh, I get to do it. And that keeps me thankful. And I got an awesome dog who's doing something in the corner. What else? <laughs> oh, if you watch the vlogs, I think you get to actually see my wife. I think my wife's face is actually in the vlogs. That's cool. She's going to start appearing her face in battle reports as well. Uh, it just took a little while to warm up to the idea because um, she's a little shyer than me. You know, it took me a while to warm up to the idea of my face being in front of the camera. But uh, I'm used to it now. I've said hey everyone more than times than I can count. You know. If I had a dime for every time I said, hey, everyone, I'd be a YouTuber, actually. That's true. Um, hmm. Maybe I can get a better texture with a dry brush. Rather than over brushing it. But, yeah, I am happy. I'm a happy hippo. Happy is a hippo. Hmm, here's a nice brush. Let's ruin it. Um, that's that's good. Oh yeah. What else is new and exciting? It says my back suck, and uh, my back sucks. I mean, but um, what's in the news? There's a new bloodthirster. I like that. He's pretty cool. Really cool model. Expensive. They yeah, really up the cost of it. But the kit looks amazing. Yeah. So. The kit looks really nice. It's just a really expensive. Like, it's the same price as a... Like a Stompa. Or maybe just under a price of a Stompa. But still, it's like a Stompa in price. It's pretty expensive. Now, the plastic kits are unbelievable from Games Workshop. And you have to admit that. Like, that's one of the things that keeps me going as a hobbyist. Games Workshop products are awesome. You know, they'll always be awesome. But they're getting a tad bit expensive. You know what I'm saying. Had me putting on an accent. It was that expensive. In Canada, I think it's, yeah, 150 or something like that. So, pretty expensive. But it's okay. People are going to buy it. It's going to look cool on the tabletop. 
<laughs> this napkin looks gross. Yeah, these days fly by. It's crazy. Like, this is like episode 20 something. And it's just crazy that I'm painting, doing the painting with Jay so long, because this is one of my newest series. You know, I did it once way back when with Dark Angels, and then um, Master Dwaylin suggested I bring it back, and I thought it would be perfectly in line with with the painting challenges, so, you know. That's what happened. And it's cool that the amount of work I've gotten done, the amount of models I've gotten done are just, it's crazy to think about it. It really is. That looks good. Good. Nice, solid, different colors. Some texture. Mm -hmm. Then, side of Tyrant here, same thing. I gotta sneeze. I definitely have to sneeze. Yeah, March is going to be fun. I can't, Adepticon, two weeks, two weeks from today, actually, I'll be at Adepticon. First event start two weeks from today. So that'll be cool. And then I'll do that for a week and come back and have some more stories to share and some people that I met and it'll be cool stuff. So as I said, and then the end of this month is finishing with me playing an awesome battle report with Cody Rue, hopefully. And that'll be awesome. I'm really looking forward to Cody Rue playing against, you know, he's a good guy, definitely a good guy, he likes people, and yeah, that'll be really fun. I had a great time playing against his son uh, about a year ago, his son plays Space Wolves, and his son kicked my butt actually, it was a lot of fun, but his son, yeah, kicked my butt. I was playing Orcs, and his son played Space Wolves, and it was really funny, he just trounced me. But it was a good battle report. And I had a great time playing against him, you know. It's not how you, it's not win or lose. But uh, we had a great time filming. And maybe I'll go bug Matt and Dave at Mini Wargaming next month, early next month. But I'll have to be very quiet. Because as I said, by the time it airs, that episode will be like May or something. But... Cool. There we go. That's uh, good for now. Yeah. How much time am I at? I probably should call it soon. My back is still not 100%. And uh, it really is starting to really tweak. Like, I'm feeling pain. I'm tolerating it. You know, it's worth sitting here pain with y'all, but... I'll have to finish him up later. He's over there. Here. That's a successful... Um, that's a pretty successful painting day, but I'll, I'll add some flock, some grass flock to those guys, and maybe some snow flock to the hive tyrants or something to, right now, and then we'll call it a day in the next 10 minutes or so. Next week, we we'll def should definitely have a new How to Play 40K. That series is coming along really slowly but surely. But hey, it's coming along. Ah, free content. Can't complain. You know, it's, it's all good. I'm buying some Battle Foam stuff. I love Battle Foam. Oh, man. It's expensive, but it's really good. It really is. Uh, I'm just looking for my sand block. Sorry. Not sand block. Grass block. Grass block? Yep. Here we go. Grass block. Um, yeah, I, I love... I'm loving my battle foam right now. I bought some battle foam for my Tyranids and for my Grey Knights. And just the... It, it, now, sometimes you get a situation where if you've angled your models in a, in a little bit odd of a way or different, it doesn't fit perfectly. 
But other than that, like the the contour that the, the pack fits to your guys is just amazing. You know, like this is the Hormagon tray, and all the Hormagons fit in perfectly. And you're like, that's awesome. I love Hormagons that fit in perfectly. And yeah, it's really cool. I just got one for my Grey Knights. There's a tray that has um, three Dread Knights. They only have um, two Dread Knights, but uh, two Dread Knights. I'm going to put my Dread Knot in it as well, and it has a Land Raider spot. So that's basically what I got for, for Adepticon, right? And then I have a Grey Knight Paladin, or it's a Terminator box. So it's designed to fit, you know, Terminators with Force Weapons. That's cool. Anybody was wondering, I'm just adding a watered-down PVA glue to uh, the bases. I know, I'm sorry to hear any people. I know you were looking forward to me painting some more High Fleet. Um, but I will. Maybe next month, and we'll see. I just needed to take this time right now and get these guys painted and based for Adepticon. And I just didn't have the time, unfortunately, in the week that if I spent this time you know, doing Tyranids, I uh, wouldn't have the time to do, finish this up and then I'd have an incomplete army going to uh, Adepticon. And nobody wants to see that, right? Plus, let's face it, painted models with based models, they roll so much better and unbased, and unpainted. It's been scientifically proven. <laughs> they look sweet, so. What else? Maple Leafs, Toronto, sports teams, Ugh. Raptors have been losing a lot lately. Leafs suck. That's all I'm saying. Leafs are funny. They're a funny, funny group. They don't win much. Of course, they haven't won since, like, the expansion days. When there were starting to be more teams in the NHL than six. They are like, they kind of called it there. They, they kind of peaked really early in their franchise. Let's add some snow. For this guy, I'm just going to, no, just take a little bit of my palette. Maybe I should, maybe I should add some flowers. Some snow, some grass walk there. Some here. Throw some right there. Right there. Just trying to break up the monotony of this base. There. Equidistant grass patches. And there. Cool. That'll work. This guy was a lot of fun to paint up. His sword's missing, obviously. I, I, it's a hand that I just, I took it, it out and put it in when I want because uh, that way it travels easier. There we go. Look at that. He looks done to me. Boo boo. Hey, boo boo. Smarter than the average dread knight. looks awesome yeah by the way everyone you should go check out my LVO blog I had a lot of fun uh, day one I saw I went to the zoo I saw Siegfried one of the days I didn't vlog it actually I should have totally vlogged meeting Siegfried or Penn and Teller I kind of vlogged a little bit of Teller just by accident turning on my camera but we weren't allowed any flash photography in there we couldn't bring camcorders into the Penn and Teller uh, theater so, all right, well, I should call it there. That was good. Look at the basing. We got a lot of stuff done. The reason why I'm not going grass with this guy is obviously I'm going to go snow with him. So I got to do a slightly different procedure to finish him off. But, uh, so that's that great. another so episode of painting with Jay. I hope you got stuff done. I hope you got a lot of, you know, hope you painted along to my ramblings about Adepticon in the future and being happy.
It's all good. My back is spasming right now. It sucks. It really hurts. But it's okay. I'll tough it out. And uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Pain with Jay. Don't tell people the information of people who didn't watch this episode. You're my confidants. Secret dies with you. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so thank you very much for watching as always. Hope you got stuff done. Until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting with Jay.